There's one thing the Lord desires. It is that we serve Him. That's all. Exodus 4, verse 22. Exodus 4. Okay, let's see 21 first. We've been told tonight that service speaks. God always looks out for service. That's why even in the secular, you hear the expression, I service. If those out there who may not be people of God also acknowledge that there is that kind of service that is fake, they call it I service. Even man in his lowly state or estate recognizes I service. These are not people that know God, so to speak, but they can identify real service in their own natural way, and they can identify I service. If ordinary people who are not spiritually tutored, if they could identify I service, how do you think the Lord? can be deceived by all manner of service. He identifies service. That's why he says, anyone that serves me is the person my father will honor. As you've been told, it's your time to be honored. Amen. And the key is clear. It's for you to understand how to serve. I have testimonies in their hundreds without sounding immodest as to what service can do in the life of a man. At some point in time, not many believed I was in school because I was always in the church to serve. They kept telling me, you are not in school. I said, I am. He said, no, you are not. You cannot be in school in the burden, and you are always available in Adekuta here, every day. Yet, I was a student. I also didn't know why. I kept showing up. I didn't, know, I didn't understand what I now do understand. Service has somehow in Lagos been lagunized from the word lagoon. There's a Lagos kind of service. People have accepted, that's what I mean by lagoonized. We've painted service with the Lagos paint. The Lagos color. And so people have accepted that service that is Lagos customized. That's not the service God acknowledges. And we are gradually entering to that room where service, real good service, God will showcase the person that serves him. And the Lord said to Moses, when you go back to Egypt, see that you do all those wonders before Pharaoh, which I have put in your hand. I see God putting wonders in somebody's hand. Amen. Listen, we've not gathered together just for the sake of gathering. Words are real. Words are powerful. Take your portion. Be attentive. You've been told to pay attention. Open up your whole being to the word. The Lord said to me, I shall appear every night of this program to speak a word into somebody's life. Amen. Not necessarily to preach, but to speak. He gave me that clear instruction. I see God putting wonders in your hand. Amen. He said to Moses, 
when you go back to Egypt, see that you do all those wonders in the eyes of Pharaoh which I put in your hands. There are wonders in your hand. Amen. Oh, I wonder if it could be you are good at drawing. It will become wonders in your hand. Amen. So if you can write, the writing would move from just writing to wonders. Amen. God will put wonders in your hand. Amen. Oh, I thought you would stand and shout, Amen, I receive it. He said, do all those wonders I put in your hands. Why didn't God do the wonders by himself? He found a man, fit, in whose hands he could put wonders. My God. Do you know that the whole world is waiting for a Moses to demonstrate the wonders God has put in his hands? You criticize the governors, you criticize the president. You see, they are all blind. They, 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 they are anonymous, they are missing. They need help. They are looking for a Moses in whose hands God has put wonders. I tell you, if you come up right now with the wonders in your hands and do it in a corner, those wonders will filter out to the state house. They will say, there's a young man somewhere. How did news got to the Pharaoh about Joseph in prison? Because of the wonders he performed inside jail. Highly placed people will look for you. In the name of Jesus. Interpreters, you keep forgetting those who want to hear this in your Yoruba language. It's very distressing. You are there. All of those who want to hear it in Igbo, are you there for them too? Those who want to hear it in French? All right. Next verse, just look at something. <laughs> then you shall say to Pharaoh, after doing the wonders I put in your hands, the reason I put wonders in your hands is that Pharaoh might listen to what you will tell him. Ah, so there's something higher than just having wonders in your hands. Jehovah, thank you, Holy Spirit. Do those wonders I have put in your hands. After all that, Pharaoh will have been so scared that ah, a common man like you could do wonders, then you tell him. Thus says the Lord, Israel is my son, my firstborn. Next one. So I say to you, let my son go. That he may serve me. Look at that. The reason God put wonders in the hands of Moses. Was that Moses might eventually tell Pharaoh. What God was saying. From the realm of doing wonders. To the realm of speaking one thing. Israel is my firstborn. The Lord is saying. Let my firstborn Israel go to do only one thing, to serve me. That's how God cherishes service. That's how God values service. Upon all the wonders in your hands, you are still meant to come and serve him. So many people are okay with the wonders God will have put in their hands. They just say, oh, I can, I can now do wonders before kings, before great people. And they are going about to minister.